Uh, I'll read, just read a couple more of mine, and then I'll go back to the Persian translations. <clears throat> Here's a poem that might um, be appropriate in a university. It's called The Scholar as a Naughty Boy. <clears throat> Conceive of history as a crumbling palace, run by a lord both arbitrary and callous. A little boy peers down between the banisters and lobs imaginary tear gas canisters, then pokes about in semi-stygian gloom, ransacking treasures in the lumber room. Scuffed velvet, shattered ormolu, stained pages, the cast-off junk and wisdom of the ages. Bats flitter, vermin litter, spiders skitter. Down there, the statesmen coruscate and glitter. Here's a jokey poem. Anybody who's been stuck in an airport should be able to re relate to this. It's also a love poem. And a friend of mine said, Dick, that poem's quite extraordinary because you, you managed to be both very misanthropic in it and also very sentimental, which is... <laughs> So this is my misanthropic sentimental poem. It's called Flying Back. The airport's cluttered lounge presents the usual mob of miscreants, the loud, the ugly, and the stupid, the sad sacks never blessed by Cupid. But I can't hate the human zoo. I'll soon be flying back to you. The conversations swirl around me. Elsewhere, I know they would have drowned me. But let them prattle, let them chatter. Nothing they say will ever matter. I bless the whole loquacious crew and think of flying back to you. The screaming infant and the boar who's got the skinny on the war, the cell phone junkie and the jerk who tells me how tax shelters work. I love them all, I really do. I'm flying back right now to you. And in the plane I'm sat beside some fat fanatic woe betide who tells me in great detail why sinners like me are damned. But I just nod and murmur whoop de doo happily flying back to you. This airline ought to be unlawful. The food's delayed, sorry, the flight's delayed, the food is awful. The stolid stewardess ignores me. I brought the wrong book and it bores me. But I'm not mad or sad or blue because I'm flying back to you. Another jokey poem. I think most of you are here are old enough to, read, to, to uh, drink wine. Some of you might not be. This is a warning for those who aren't. But it's worth spending a little more to get something that's reasonable. This is called Under Six Dollars a Bottle. <coughs> Shun Chardonnay. The bottle might be pretty, but its bouquet is distinctly eau de kitty. Be wary of Bordeaux, which Brits call claret. Imagine a metallic tasting carrot. Watch out for anything that fizzes. Asti spumanti is spectacularly nasty. Avoid Shiraz. There's nothing subtly Persian about the blatant, lousy Aussie version. Don't risk the Riesling. Not, that is, unless you know alcoholic Kool-Aid won't distress you. Choose nothing then. Put all your icky picks back and cross the aisle to buy a Miller six-pack. <coughs> um, here's a slightly risque poem. This poem was told to me as a true story. Um, by a woman who was visiting her grandma uh, in her teens. And she said this actually happened to her. A visit to grandmothers for, C for CT who told me this story. I hope nobody's going to be offended by this poem. It's very short. So it's a short offense if you are offended. <laughs> when shampoo stung her eyes, her anguished bathroom cries of oh and ooh and ah were heard by Grandmama as something else completely. Later she said discreetly, lovely to hear your noise, a young girl who enjoys her body won't need boys. <laughs> <laughs> My friend assured me that actually happened to her. <clears throat> this is the last of my poems I'm going to read. Uh, it's called a mystery novel in the sense of a detective novel like we were joking about at the beginning the lights go out and then someone's dead a mystery novel alone and diffident you enter what is there the world that does not care for your predicament for mysteries of who you must become 
or what your place is in the plot to which you have no clue. Turn pages, suffer time, and look, you are the thread unraveling from the dead, the clue, the plot, the crime.